Hey everybody, this is Taco Scratch. Just showing you the second uh, update of the process of modeling my robot. Right now there's a picture of it that I drew. And as you can see, there is the upper torso with a little bit more stuff added to it. We just kind of add a little bit more to the shell of it. But as this video progresses, you'll see all the extra detail that I added to the inside. Now, when I was adding this detail, I wasn't always thinking, oh, does this really work? Is this gonna really, if this robot was actual robot, is it really gonna look like this? Would it really work like this? Now, I think of that to a certain extent, but then, you know, other times I just wanna add stuff that makes it look more cool, you know? And so it, it does need to be kind of practical in a, in, to a certain extent, but other than that, it just really needs to kind of make people feel like when they see it, they get that feeling that you're trying to portray with it. As you can see, the bicep and the uh, forearm area, um, I deviated a little bit from the actual drawing because it just didn't feel as intimidating as I wanted it to feel. So I just added a few, I changed a few things about it. So. Now, when you look back at the drawing later on, it's not going to see, seem exactly, exactly the same. Excuse me. Um, right here is a posed version of it. I mirrored it over and I just kind of pose, a, just move one arm backwards. It's not really much of a pose, but just so you can see uh, where I'm going with this thing and how long the arms are actually going to be. Uh, and, and this is not a full humanoid robot. This is just like a robot. It's, it's designed to intimidate and uh, exterminate. Now, I know in the last video I decided you know, I didn't want—I don't want to use any um, pistons or hydraulic-looking uh, uh, pieces to it. But I changed my mind because it just didn't look as good. And uh, some friends from school gave me some good suggestions. Thanks a lot, Chris Montague. Um, right there, I'm working on the the hand. Now, what you did see. There's no hands on the robot yet. Now I'm gonna show you the uh, ambient occlusion pass real quick. Uh, like I said, this isn't how the robot's gonna be. Those aren't guns where his arms are. Those are actually just uh, his forearms with no robot hands on there. So you'll see that in the next update. But there's the ambient occlusion passes. Hope you like the video. Let me know what you think.